Samantha, frightening moments for a mother of three in Plano overnight after she was shot in a family violence situation. Plano police say they arrested the suspect and got the children to safety. NBC 5's Lana Quillen is live in Plano for us this morning with how all of it ended. Alana, certainly a scary story. Yeah, and a very busy night for Plano police. The parking lot of this Lifetime Fitness Center here on Preston Road in Legacy here behind me was filled with dozens of police officers at one point. 70 police officers working this case from both Plano and Frisco police. They say this all started around 1030 last night when a woman ran into the gym here and told the workers that she had been shot by the father of their young children and that man had fled the scene with the three children in the car. Now, Plano police descended on this area searching for the suspect and the kids. He was eventually found around 1130, an hour later, just a short distance away. The children were also in the car unharmed. Their father, now identified as 29-year-old Timothy Young, was taken into custody. Adding to the difficulty of this case, investigators worked throughout dorms last night, and Plano police say they were able to quickly and quietly apprehend the father before he could react. There was not a whole lot of movement, but they could hear a baby crying. And so they um, they knew that you know at least one of the children was still okay. Now you have children that are um, with a legal guardian, but at the same time they're hostages. We at this point we don't know what they are. You know we don't know what his state of mind is. He's already committed um, an act of violence, and we uh, were desperately looking for that vehicle. Now, Plano police say the family is homeless and living out of their vehicle, which added to the difficulty in locating the suspect since they have no ties to Plano. We're told the mother is doing okay. She is recovering at the hospital right now in stable condition. Now, Timothy Young is being booked into Plano City Jail this morning with at least one charge of aggravated assault. That's all we know in the case so far, but we hope to get more details later on today. Reporting live in Plano, Alana Quillen, NBC5.